Welcome to Akamai Developer for Application Security. My name is Mike Ellison, Developer Advocate at Akamai Technologies, and today I'm here to present you with this training course. In today's video, we will be showcasing how you can create and get started with your actual Akamai Application Security configuration. In previous videos, we have set up our workstation, created our Akamai API client, and also deployed a Akamai delivery configuration. So now the only thing we need to do is bolt on top that application security and we're ready to go. So here we have Postman again, and of course we have set up our Akamai application security collection and environment. And we are going to be continuing our previous work to add in our application security configuration. And for this, you're going to be looking at the folder security configurations. Inside of the security configurations folder, you will find everything that you can do with the application security API when it comes to managing the highest level concept, the security configuration. In order to create a security configuration, you need to ensure that it's tied to an Akamai contract ID and group ID. You can use the get request list contracts and groups in order to retrieve the IDs that you're looking for. So here we have the contract ID as well as the group ID where we will store our security configuration that we will be creating. Next we have the option to list out the available host names and we just want to make sure that www.securitylevelup.eu is listed in the available host names for protection. Here we have the re get request that will end in selectable host names. We're going to hit send. And as you can see here, we have securitylevelup.eu available to us. And we're going to be adding that to host names to add. In order to create our configuration, we of course are going to be utilizing the request post to create a configuration. And we've already set up the post request and you have the availability to list out certain variables. So you have to specify a name for your configuration, a description, you would also need a contract ID, of course, and group ID, and then the host names to add. The host names to add is actually comma delimited. So if you want to add multiple host names in one go, you can do so. So let's fill in our variables. For our configuration name, we're going to keep this similar to www.securitylevelup.eu. For our description, you can type in anything config for securitylevelup.eu. As you can see here, host names to add is actually supposed to be comma delimited. So I will make sure to add in the commas. There we go. And we've already specified our contract group and idea. So we should be good to go now. Let's hit send and it should create our security configuration. There we go. We get a 201 created back. We received the config ID of 75113 and we are now on version 1. I will add the config ID and version number to my notes. And there we go. Now we have created our security configuration. It starts at version one and we can continue to build on and layer in all the different settings that we need. As mentioned before in previous videos, you're going to be looking at elements such as network lists, WAF rules, custom rules, rate controls and other types of settings in order to build up your security configuration. 